Hey guys, Josh Rappaport here. I'm a loan officer and I run a mortgage team here in the Valley. Today I'm going to be talking to you self-employed borrowers out there and I'm going to be answering some of your most frequently asked questions right now. Alright, so you're a self-employed borrower and you're looking to buy a house. Don't panic. I know the process can be a little more daunting for you self-employed borrowers out there. One of the most common questions I get asked is how many years of tax returns will I need to do this? More than likely you'll need your last two years tax returns, but we do have programs where you can get away with one year's tax return. So uh, it's going to vary from person to person. You'll definitely want to speak with us and we can let you know whether we'll need one or two years. Another big question is, uh, will my income look a lot less than a W-2 employee? Well, you guys write off a lot more than a regular employee. So the answer is, yeah, usually you know, your income looks a little bit different than a W-2 employee, but that's okay because there's a lot of ways that we can squeeze more juice out of the lemon and get your income to where we need it to, to get you qualified. And one last question I get asked a lot is, what documentation will I need to provide? Uh, it really depends. It depends on what percentage ownership you have and in what types of companies. Worst case scenario is you're going to have to provide the last two years personal tax returns, all schedules and attachments, last two months bank statements, all pages, and then your last two years business returns. And sometimes we also do need to get an updated P&L. But again, don't panic. Reach out to us. I'm happy to go over exactly what's needed. Even if you've been declined by another lender, let us take another look. We've looked at this stuff literally thousands of times, so we're really familiar with it and it's really easy to us.